one with these in, uh, individual items in. Um, I've started off with do, doing them in bits. I'm starting off with the Magpul and Beta Project uh, stuff, all the magazines that I've gone for this time. Um, we'll start over here with the e mags, I think. So I've got four of these here, the one up. Packaging, it's just a plastic bag. Uh, it's all really easy, they're pretty. They're not really going to get crushed or dented or anything. They're pretty, as you know, any of you who have any of the P mags or any of the other Magma PTS products, it's pretty tough plastic. Uh, so, I mean, it tells you what's in there. It's going to keep it from getting sort of scuffed just by other stuff in a box. So, yeah, it does it fine. Um, the magazine itself, I've been using the old version, not the as in not the M version uh, P mags for a little while, and they're great in a lot of ways. They're really, really well built. Um, they feed just smooth as you like. Very nice to grip. Very ergonomic. The only problem with them is that they're quite wide. And um, they actually rectified this with the M version. They made this top by here a little bit thinner, a bit lower profile, so that it'll fit in more kinds of weapon. Um, but my my old P mags do have a bit of a problem. In that some M4 bodies and some magwells on the various different guns that take 5.56 Stanag mags, they don't really like them, um, so they come a bit tight. Now, with the E mags, I believe what they've done is made this top section here about the same sort of spec as the M version P mags, so they should fit in pretty much any gun you can throw them at, really, that takes TM standard style. 5.56 Stanag Max, um, but we will be looking at that in a second with my M4 down there. Uh, as the, again with the M version P Mag, these come with the little flip off dusts and dirt, etc., cover, and it just clips onto little grooves on the top there. Also, I've not actually done this before because I'm not going to have it. It goes on the bottom there for when you're not using it. Personally, I don't think there's a lot of point for these for airsoft. If you mag that way up in a pouch, how's the dirt all going to get up there? Um, I would either just leave them on there, generally, or not bother with them at all. I don't, I don't think, realistically, it's going to be difficult to get a load of mud into the feed hole there. Um, yeah, the con uh, you know, I, to be honest, as I expected really, I'm not going to try to go into too much detail about the strength of the construction of these because if you, I would say most people out there probably know what the PTS magazines are like and they're just, I've got absolutely no issue doing that. That's going to damage the table before it damages these things. They're absolutely rock solid. I've got no doubt that when I use them, they're going to feed beautifully, just the same as the old PMAGs did. Just really, really great polymer that you pay the price, that is the thing. Um, compared to say some mag mid caps, the, you know, these things, they're a lot, they're a lot more, many times more expensive, but they are very nice looking. Got your fake bullets in there, they've got all the mag pull trademarks. There's a few PTS ones, just up there, tiny, a tiny, tiny little PTS one, just down there, um, but that's it look very realistic, they've got a nice weight to them, like you say again with the mag makeups, I've got quite a lot of them, they're great, they're very very good value for money, especially if you're starting out, um, I would advocate the boxes of them, really good stuff, but these, they are very very light, you, you pick one up and it just feels like nothing, um, these have a nice bit of a weight to them, you don't sort of just feel like you're hobbling a handful of air, as you can do with some sort of cheaper plastic makeups. It's just a really strong polymer. Um, the reason I've got the E-Mags rather than P-Mags, or the M version P-Mags to update them, is that these will f more likely to fit in stuff other than M4s. And that's the same with the real steel and in Airsoft, because of the construction of the bodies and receivers, etc. These have just the same solid construction, the reliable feeding, the cool looks, etc, etc, as the P-Mags, but they're gonna fit into basically any Airsoft AEG, you can throw them out that take these sort of magazines. Uh, 
Then go and do a look at the next base plate, of course, as with PMAGs. Suppression little thing down at the bottom there. Base plate slips off. You can replace them with the Ranger plates. A few of which I've got here. Uh, we've got to go now, why not? Mantle PTS Ranger plates. Got some in OD here. They won't be going on these. Come in triple pack. Again, they're not cheap. But that's what you pay for Magpul stuff, unfortunately. Um, so there we go. I'm just, yeah, there we go. Easy as that. Takes about five seconds if you just did it straight away. You've got a nice way to grab onto your mags and a nice you know, bumper if they fall on the floor. <laughs> if they fall all the way up. And I've never quite understood that. I've never seen, I don't think in my life I've seen a mag fall straight that way. They're usually going to end up on their side or that way up or whatever. But I don't know, maybe if, you, if you're firing from a weapon and you just hit the mag catch and you just drop them straight down, maybe. But that particular use seems a bit. Uh, bit questionable to me, maybe for the real stuff. But yeah, these th these things are good. The this section here is more of a solid plastic, whereas this part is a sort of a squidgy kind of rubbery material. Um, very nice to grip onto. If you want, if you, the advantage of course between this and normal magpuls is that normal magpuls, you've got to get your finger in that way, which isn't quite as natural as just going straight in like that from the front. Or you just grab it there, and you've got a really nice. Just fitted your hand really well, just bang, out of your bag pouches. So yeah, again, the, the polymer they use, the plastic, or the rubber, I'm not, not exactly sure what it is, but whatever material PTS uses, it's top quality stuff, it'll last a long time and take a lot of knocks. Uh, and they'll fit onto any of the PMAGs or EMAGs you buy. Um, and back onto the EMAG itself, uh, and the next thing we do, I've got one of my now this is one of my Tiffany Murray SOCOM M4s, so it's the version 2 model um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, that doesn't take these magazines as stock. You need the adapter. There's a few companies that make them. Um, Pro Arms make one, I believe. There's a couple other companies out there. I can't remember off the top of my head, but if you search for adapter for a SOC mod or a SOCOM, then you can get a little piece that you just pop on the hop unit there and it allows normal AG mags to be used. Let's have a look at it first. Yep. Obviously it's loose in there because these are shorter and they don't sit as high in the mag well as the proper soft mod mags. However, if I were to put the adapter on there, that would work just fine. Yep, all good. It's the only gun I have to test them with unfortunately. Um, but I would safely say that they're going to fit into whatever sort of gun you throw them at, as I mentioned before, that takes these types of magazines. I'll be using them a lot with my L85, my ICS L85, because we just recently adopted them and in the, for the MOD for the British Army, Air Force and Navy and Marines. They always get left out. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the double window as the ones that the British military have bought but it's close enough to my mind um, and I just think you can buy a set of four of these or however many you play with um, or however many tend to carry on your rig buy a set of these and they'll just last and last and last and you're never going to have to worry about buying mags for I mean <laughs> I don't want to say your entire life because that's a big statement you know I think people say things like that too lightly sometimes but they'll last a long 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 time you know, you'll be able to put in a lot of BBs and shoot a lot of BBs out of them things before they ever even think about going wrong. So that's those really good solid magazines. On to the Beta Project ones, which I mean incorporation with PTS. What that means exactly, I don't know. Maybe they supply them with their materials. Um, I've not actually had one of these, seen one of these in person before. But I wanted some AK mags for the King Arms AK that I looked at in the video before. And I wanted something a bit more modern, something a bit different, uh, and these fit the bill nicely. Now, first inspection, they have a nice, they do have a nice sort of almost rubbery feeling texture. This this ribbon here is quite good. You can get a good grip on that. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my AK here. I took it home, so I can't <laughs> test fit them sadly. But I'm sure they'll be all right. 
Carol 5.5, 6.45 marked up, so then if you're AK101 or any other 5.5, 5.5, 5.45 5, mag, taking guns. Plate on the bottom, just the same as any PTS P mag or E mag, which is a great feature. So I'll take another one of my Ranger plates, get it the right way around helps. Onto there, press the little button, locked on, done. Again, easy as that. It's not quite a, there's a little bit of a gap down in there, but minuscule really. Um, good thing about these, you can see right through them, you can see the spring going around, so you're going to be able to see exactly how many rounds you've got in this magazine, because of course the AK doesn't have a magazine well or housing the same as an M4 or an L85 might do. So you're going to be able to tell exactly how many BBs you've got left. Are you going to need to do a tactical reload? Are you in the middle of a shooting and you're thinking, you know, how many do I have left? Well, with this, you're going to be able to see. You're going to be able to see those last few BBs feed out of there and you'll know when it's time to reload, which is a good feature. It doesn't look realistic, you can able to see the BBs, obviously, compared to that where you've got fake rounds. But for a more skirmish practical viewpoint, that's great. Um, Again, sadly, I can't comment on the feeding or the fitment, but build-wise, yeah, I could do that all day, I reckon, I and mean, this would probably be just fine. Good to grip onto. Size-wise, they're not really any bigger than M4 mag. They're longer. not particularly any wider that way or that way. So these will fit in your M4 mag pouches. I use M4 as a generic phrase for um, obviously 556 Stanag um, type uh, magazines. Because that I think people generally tend to recognize that. Yeah, quite happy with those. I'll be using them in my sort of raped and modernized and pimped out AK once it's done. That'll be good. And so yeah, that's the Magpul stuff. Range plates, the Beta Project AK magazines, and the Magpul PTS Emags. Uh, Emags. Yeah, these are 120 rounds. Forgot to mention that. And as I said before, I believe these are 140. Prices for all of these. Uh, the the AK ones are slightly cheaper actually. I think because they're made by Beta Project. Probably Magpul PTS like to charge a premium, of course. These are about $22 a piece. I think these are more like 18. So that's a little bit cheaper, which is nice. All really well-built stuff. Um, the way I look at buying magazines, I've not bought many because most of my guns take the same sorts of mags because I like to, that's how I like to run sort of the logistics side of things. But if, you know, when you're not buying too many, what you can afford to do is buy really good ones like these and they will just last you. You're never gonna have to worry about you know, which magazines am I going to use today? Are these ones working? Which ones are working today? All that sort of stuff. Um, you can just buy a bunch of these and you'll never have to have any concerns. You just grab them in your gear every skirmish, time and again, and they'll just serve you one. Well. Pay the price, but then, you know, pay more and then you're only paying once, as the phrase goes. Well, that's not actually how the phrase goes. I can't remember how it goes precisely, to be honest. Buy what. Uh, yeah. end of the day if you pay less you'll be paying more times although again like I say I I think the mag mid caps are good and there's other companies out there that do make decent mid cap mags but you know I, I chose to pay what some people probably think is too much for the mag ball stuff but they are really well built um, and so you can't you know, quality is worth paying for as far as I, in, you know, to my mind if you don't want to pay as much, you don't. There's really no need to. You can get other good stuff that for a fair bit less money, but that's just what I went with, um, and there's my reasons why. So yeah, and next we'll move on to some of the stuff for the King Arms file series.